back to me now. Okay, I, I'll... I'll open the doors and then pray to God that the cat wants to get out. Get out! Get out! Yeah, I'd have to give it a slight shove. Otherwise the cat was just like, Would you like me to leave? Yes, I fucking would. But I don't want to. Just get out already. Alright, alright. Now, where have we been? Oh, yeah, the clubbers. Where do you live, Fist the Corpse? Why would you... How far away is your neighbor? Why don't you just talk? See, the problem with smoke signals is that it's... Uh, the other guy has to be watching the sky. What if he was busy... entertaining himself and he just wasn't watching the sky at the moment? Not sure how well it actually works. Unless you just sit around and watch the sky all day. But then you can't watch the stream. Nah, you smoke signals don't work. Now what the hell did I want with Madora anyway? I I think I'm gonna upgrade her, her two-handed. And... Uh, her speed. I think it's about time she got some more movement in her. And then Sun, on her level up, can... I guess she might as well... No, sh what? What? She cannot learn to fight with a staff? Oh no, it's, this is a staff as well. Hmm. Ah, never mind, never mind. I thought... I wonder... There is the Staff Blast ability here. Staff of Magus. First offensive spoil every Source Hunter must learn, launch a magical missile. The better the staff, the more damage. But does it mean it actually benefits from the staff's leveling here? Like, if I get two-handed, will it get better? Hard to really say. Now let's not waste on that. If I wanted another uh, magical skill, I think it would be Hydro, but... Honestly, let's just keep it for later, because I don't know what I want. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep it for later because I don't know what I want. And then Balsam sun Summer Fire. Uh, probably just Dex, you know? She already has great speed and perception. Maybe Constitution would be okay too. And then I think I'll just save up for Marksman or... Actually, I could teach her some magic, but she she's good with a bow. I don't need any magic. I, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I teach her some water just so she can have a healing spell later on, but... But I'll save up these two. Maybe I'll want to upgrade my bow. It, see, what is Tenebrium? She has this option here that Sun didn't even have, I wonder. I guess crossbow is also an option Sun didn't have. So uh, I'll probably just wait for another bow option in the next level up. We'll see, we'll see. Fiber optic roots. <laughs> the best. It it actually is from Pandora. Pandorans had fiber optic roots, you could see. No more spell! Thanks for the follow! Welcome to the stream! Nice to have you, buddy! Now you're one of us. Whether you like it or not. Oh, I could have fireballed them if I was more careful. Oh well. Oh well. Now, I could delay my turn, but I hope it's not permanent. Oh shit, there are actually three archers. Uh, that could go ugly, but they are far away, right? Where are they? What the hell? I can see them on the map in weird places. Oh no, they're actually like right there. Never mind. Yeah, so the archers are far away. I'm fine. Just delaying my turn. 
Oh, my favorite soundtrack. Oh my god, Pixie, you are hopeless. You are absolutely hopeless. There is no saving for you. I think the way he stopped, there should be a possibility of fireballing him. With Joyful. Ha! <laughs> Both down! Hell yeah! The spider can feast! Guaranteed hits. I think I want a fireball before they unclump up. And besides, I will then be able to drop a poisonous ball with uh, Sun for even more powerful AoE. Yeah, actually it works! It worked. I delayed my movement only for one turn. Turn, I could move first again, so that's very good. This guy's literally just gonna die. Actually, do I want to kill that guy, or do I want to fire an exploding arrow against these suckers? Come on. I want to kill these archers with AOE before they deal their ridiculous damage to me. really work as, as much as I wanted it to. Oh. But it's okay, I have a lot of fire arrows, I can use one or two. Oh. BAM! Okay, now, it's important for me to do this, but I need to move like 5 meters forward. Yeah, it's gonna explode too. Bam! You're gone. Ah, this guy's alive. So he'll still shoot me a little bit. So I'm gonna move her back, because she is the only one that could actually die from the shooting. And then... I believe the spider can finish him off. I believe I shouldn't believe so much. Okay, he burned actually, very nice. Yeah. That was that was brilliant fight. Perfectly, masterfully played. Oh what? That's not what I intended to do. Still whack him with the staff of Pergamon. Don't care. Wait, there's one more? Oh! Come. He's gonna get up now. That's gonna kill him, right? Uh, yeah, not really. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now, come, come, come. 
All your monies belong to me. Oh, Stardust Harp! I need it for crafting uh, scrolls and magical books. Because Stardust plus Bone Dust is Pixie Dust. Fista Corpse, you are balancing at the edge of the rules. You're not really offending me or anything. Don't apologize, just, just stop breaking the rules of the chat. Just listen to Pixie's advice. Everything's gonna be fine. Alright, the rules were created for a reason. And the reason for that is that I want underage audience to watch me comfortably without having uh, to listen about drugs or any other topics like that. And of course some underage viewers don't really care and they already have opinions formed about that, but in case they don't, I'm not willing to be the one forming those opinions with my chat. So just let's not do it. Easy. Just, just talk about games. How hard could it be? And why am I saving here? What the hell did I... Undertaker's Abandoned Pod. It seems to be recently used. Recently used, you say? Well, I'm stunned. Teleron, you say? Will you stop that? Oh. Summon Undead Warrior skill book. Is that a witch's spell? I think it is. Ouch. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna use whatever, whoever isn't stunned. Now what the hell was that letter? Oh. Oh. Teleron, I am sending you a new apprentice. She's more powerful than you by tenfold, but apprentices are apprentices. But appearances are appearances. And I don't want to raise a single eyebrow. Do not deviate, doctor, or you may find yourself in a rather uncomfortable situation indeed. Bracus Rex will see the light of day once more. You will serve so that he may serve she who is greater than us all. Sign the conduit. Through blood her power flows, through blood her triumph grows. So basically Teleron has been, what, blackmailed and scared into working with the conduit? And uh, he actually maintained Evelyn's cover. Son of a gun. What happens when you mix the stardust with lava dust, with a hint of gold? Uh, you get perfectly baked cinnamon buns. Bet you didn't see that coming. Oh, so my sword is gone. I had to punch that thing. Unsent letter to conduit. What did he respond? Was he a unwilling accomplice, or was he a willing follower? To the conduit of the goddess, or however you prefer to call yourself. It has taken me some time, but I have re nearly fulfilled my promise. Bracus Rex has been located, and I am prepared to restore him. What? Bracus Rex is actually just ready to be restored? Holy shit. Once I've acquired the information you seek, I will write to you immediately. If you desire to return his remains, to return to his remains, you will need to know the way. Here is what you must do. Enter the ancient church in the outskirts of Sizil. On four of its walls, you'll find four unique paintings. Lift these and press the buttons beneath. I've been there. This will move the altar in the middle of the flooring far enough for you to enter the lair below. Once inside, your amulet will be sufficient to deactivate the barrier. 
So I need this amulet too. Enter the door within and Bracus Rex will await you. Until we speak again, Dr. Theleron Hashnitor. So is here... Can I here find the key? I, I think... Damn it. The, the key to the church's doors. I think I still didn't find it here, did I? I don't remember finding it here, that's for sure. Oh, but there's a lever. Maybe I don't need a key. Oh, even more papers. Maybe I need the lever. Uh, it probably just turned off the trap. No, it didn't. So maybe it did trigger the uh, door in the church. Maybe it opened it. Let's go there and find out. And... Uh, check out the diary. Nine Aventurus. My research continues to weave down interesting and long-forgotten paths. Night after night I find myself drawn into esoteric tomes, convinced, perhaps, foolishly, that one will yield the kernel I need. The eternal secret. If it is to be found, I will find it. 22nd Aventurus. Aventurus. A monumental day. In my searching, I uncovered a tome containing the arcane mythology of those wretched sorcerer kings who nearly undid all of Riverlawn. These myths, once widely believed by credulous peasants, have long been dismissed and discredited. Still, I promised myself I'd leave no stone unturned in my pursuit of knowledge. The volume looked as though it received the same treatment as the barbaric king's Bacchus. Whipped, burned, left to dangle in the wind and hastily burned. The tome, the Book of the Immaculates, is, it's called, claimed the most, in, claimed most insistently that Starstone, a petty crystal, could be imbued with the essence of life and used to heal men, even those teetering on the brink of death. So that's what the Evelyn had. That stone was what the Evelyn had. At first I dismissed the proclamation as a, as a superstition. Still, as the hours wore on, the idea began, be, began to seem less and less ridiculous. These stones, mere shards more, more, most often, appear in more than one mythology. Here, the fallen tears of the Almighty, there the rejected stars of the cosmos, no matter the fiction, they always seem to retain some otherworldly origin. Fortunately, a star stone was hardly difficult to come by. I wrenched a shard the length of my finger from an old dagger, passed down by me, uh, passed down to me by generations of Hashnitors before me. I inspected it closely, but still no special properties appeared to my naked eye. The book's instructions were clear enough, and I followed them exactly. It was no pleasure to slit the throat of one of Bursha's panicked roosters, but when I held my hand, a star stone turned from a dull blue to a deep swirling red, a stone that seemed to throb alive in my very hand. The discomfort of the sacrifice vanished entirely. Bloodstone. 15 Junar. I'm not too modest to say my renown has spread far. Who else can heal the sick, the wounded, the nearly dead within the matter of minutes? Who else can return the spirit to life to a vessel nearly undone? And what about a vessel that has been... undone? Though I have yet to make the attempt, I grow curious about the stone's true power. If it can heal wounds of... of every make and matter, might it, he might it also heal the ultimate wound? Might it also reverse death? Even now, as I write, her smoke and spices haunt me. Malia calls to me. She wants me to come home. Man, this book is just going on. The longest book in this game. This game is a tactical turn-based RPG. It's a tactical RPG. Let me just check how many pages. Ah, it's fine. A strange... Uh, 20 Junar. A strange guest has joined me. She said she knew of my method and she, the messenger of the goddess, could help me achieve my heights of healing. As long as I promised to serve her. Naturally, my first guess was that she'd been touched by madness. Me serve some false prophet? Unlikely. But despite her claims, the woman calling herself the conduit does seem to know how to manipulate the bloodstone in astounding ways. On her first night here, she took me at midnight to a forgotten cemetery outside Sizil's walls. I carried the shovel of the bloodstone before the morning's li first light, and to my amazement she had raised a long decayed skeleton into a walking automaton. The creature was grotesque, no more alive than it had been for the last hundred years, but animated nonetheless. 
I must wonder, after what I've seen, if this mysterious stranger might hold the key I've been looking for, life after death, life beyond death. The idea has set my mind ablaze. Twentieth Vernus. She promised me everything, that is to say, the only thing I have ever wanted. The conduit says she can that she knows the secret to reanimating a corpse, not only with life, but with soul. She knows I would do anything to earn this information, but since I would not be fooled by her little act as some goddess's messenger, she had asked me to earn her secret in another way. I have now labored for the conduit for a full month and I have made a surprising headway towards fulfilling her request. Soon enough, my end of the bargain will be complete and then will come hers. 27th Vernus. The path that leads towards Brackus Rex is terrible and twisted, fraught with fiends, each more horrible than the last. But I seek them each by each, and I raise them one by one, and every second I stare into the vile hell-sent face brings me closer to him. I will speak to the Source King, I will wrench from him the secret the conduit so craves, and when I present it to her, she will give me what I desire. Fifth Vernus. How can it be that a year has passed? How could I have been so close to finding Bracus Rex, yet so impossibly far from him? How long must have Cecil suffered this plague of undead before I un be that I have unleashed upon their doors in my pursuit? The conduit has grown impatient and sent her watchdog Evelyn to make sure I am adhering to my promise. The daggers she sets upon me with her every gaze will hardly hasten my progress. I am as desperate as anyone to raise this horse gang. So he single-handedly raised the entire undead plague of the city. Holy shit, if I can bring this to Aureus, he's not gonna be happy about this thing. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Oh, you want to develop in the Dev Tycoon. It's, it's an RPG with a uh, branching story, with side quests, with uh, advanced dialogue options. I don't think there is turn-based combat in, in, Dev Dev in Game Dev Tycoon, but it's a, it's a strategy slash RPG. It's a strategy slash RPG in the Game Dev Tycoon. What the hell is there? Which path were they taking? And make sure it's 3D. It's a 3D game. And it has save games. Remember to have save games. And it has cloud saving as well on Steam. So we need to get that as well. I'm just remembering all the features of the Game Dev Tycoon from the games from the days I've been playing it. Alright, Nessus, let me know how it is received. It's still closed. And I still don't have the key. Damn it. Alright, let's confront the Doctor. Wait, what? No. North gate. Maybe he'll give me the key so I can undone what he has done. So I can undo what he has done. Where is his house? I think it's to the right here. No, here. Yes, it is. Well, Pixie, someone could have two copies from Kickstarter. Maybe there was a Kickstarter reward that gave you two copies for you and your friends, so you could uh, multiplayer roleplay. Oh yeah, the game has multiplayer Nessus, so make sure to add that too. Where is he? Is 
Is he gone? He's gone, isn't he? Oh god. This game is not making it easy for me, is it? God damn it. Maybe there's a key in here. Also, there's the first part of fun with fluids. The old art of mixing potions is not just for, for apothecaries. Anyone with a mind to learn the trade can put one or two together. Every potion begins at the beginning with, one, with an empty vial. One penny bun mushroom can be wrong for a great deal of health, while squeezing the poison from a fly agaric mushroom is as easy as plotting murder. Yeah, thanks. It's easy as plotting murder, you say. Oh, trap this arm token. I can, I can steal some of that. I want the potion flasks as well. So that when I need to, I'll craft some potions. Is there a chest that he would be guarding that I haven't looted yet? I don't think so. Oh. Maybe here. Oh. Oh. oh, a pickaxe! I was looking for it! I was wondering where to get a pickaxe. Oh. Because I found some uh, ores to mine and I couldn't. Oh. But now... Can't see any keys. And then I believe I've already been here, yeah, ornate chest is empty. Oh. Oh. Ah, damn it. And here I was making progress. I have no idea how to open that church yet. Let's talk to Aureus about the church. I did explore it, and then he did want to know the source of the undead plague. Uh, I think it is two players max, yeah. Not sure, though. Because I have four characters. Maybe they can Maybe someone can play Madora. <laughs> Not sure. It's a long game, but the multiplayer doesn't need to be uh, running for the whole time, you know? You can play half of the game with your friend, half of the game without. Oh, yuck! Long time no see! Welcome to Divinity! Sorry, sir. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful week. I'm on customer support? Of what? Why are you crying? But you're, you're helping people, making their lives better. What the hell, dude? No! 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 Back again. Customer support is the best kind of support for PayPal. So people just people are like, "Where is my money? Yuck! Where is my money? I want my money. You give me my money, or I kill you." I bet it's just like everybody's like, "Where is my money?" Uh, well, I, they can join your game only, but if it's your friend, then your friend can design the character, like, with you on Skype. But yeah, it's, one person has to host, and the other takes control one of that person's characters. No, Yak is the support, he doesn't need support, he is the support. I'm working on reversing it or suing it for fraud. What? <laughs> what? What are you doing? Uh... So about the old church. 
The pugs be upon everyone in that bloody town. How many more soldiers must I lose? Oh, that I already read. But... I just found the admission of fucking guilt. What's wrong with you, Arius? Did I... Talk to him with the wrong... Bye. This quest is suspiciously not progressing forward. We broke up the meeting of cultists in the abandoned church. Their leader escaped into a tomb below, closing the entrance underneath the altar beneath him. Man! Back again. Let's discuss the undead. I did find substantial- I found the one who was raising Bye. them! You son of a gun! Oh, there's a key, look at this. Maybe this is the key to the church. It's probably the key to his personal chest, but don't tell anyone. What is there? I don't think I've ever gone there, and I should have. What the hell? How could I not notice this before? Oh, I could end up here one day. Ah, uh, but there's a guard and everything. Prison treasury, and nobody can see me. Damn. But don't I have a key to the prison's treasury? Excuse me, would you mind not handling that? Oh shit. I failed to sneak. Gravekeeper! Lurk, lurk, lurk. Oh, damn. So, this wasn't the key to the treasury. Maybe he's got the key into the treasury. But I'm not gonna risk pickpocketing. Well, still, it would be nice money, but I don't really need money. If you really think about it, I've got more money than I ever need. I don't have anything else that I want to buy from the... Vendors, anyway, right? Let's talk to Aru about that journal. And church. It was called Church Gate Key. Probably, yeah. Yeah, there's no dialogue options that would help me out here. Oh man, Gravekeeper! <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep that in mind next time we play Dominion on the stream, holy shit. People bet, bet for Gravekeeper. He knows what he's doing. In card games. Holy hell. That is, that is legit, man. That is legit. <sighs> so basically, I am kind of stuck. Let's go to the gardens and see what I can find there. No, this is not what I meant. East? Not particularly, but maybe? No, I need to get there. Oh well. Can I walk? I can't even walk from here. So where the hell? What is this one? It doesn't say the name. I need the name. Qui es tu nombre? 
Oh well, I guess I'm gonna find the way and just walk. Shit, it's so high up. So I could walk in through here and through the elemental house and I can then get to this courtyard that I wanted to get to. I guess that also works. Maybe the the church key is gonna be in this elemental house. Who the hell knows? There is a lot of mines that I have to remember. I don't even have enough trap disabling tools for this. Some of the mines will just need to be eaten. But we'll see. Maybe the key is there. I mean, for all I know, it could be. Yeah, on the highest level, Dominion... ...is... ...is getting very precise. ...in its combos. Now, as soon as it stops burning, I'm gonna... Oh, shit. Is it just gonna keep burning? I expected it to just burn up and die. But I don't... Rain spell. Oh, wow! So... The poison's refreshing itself. Maybe there's a source of poison. Ah, oh, yeah. And I blocked the source of poison, so now it's Careful. now it's gone. I spotted a trap. Yeah, no kidding, you spotted a trap. No kidding, lady. Storage room chest key. Storage room chest. There's gonna be such a trap here. Careful now, that's a trap. Ow. Uh, just, a, just a little bit of poison. Ow! Just a lot of burning. Ah, a scimitar. I'm not gonna need that, unfortunately. Just for sale. Alright, do some healing here. What? No! Healing! Not killing. Healing. Jeez. Sorry I misspoke! <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, but this old forge... Unless there's a button on the wall... Could be a button on the wall. Ow. Careful now. That's a trap. I believe that will stop the cloud, right? Yeah. Hmm. Leather boots. Summon fire elemental skill book. Damn it! I bought it for money. Look I could have just had it here for free. I see a trap nearby. Let's disarm it. It's like right in the middle of my party. Just get rid of it. Now, I, I did see the trap, but I have a limited amount of trap disarm toolkits, so sometimes I will just not care. Whoa! Damn, son! There isn't even anything valuable here. What's all the fuss with the traps? Yeah, but I don't really think there's gonna be a church door key in here. Church gate key. Ow. Ow. Oh, thank god. Man, son. So close. 
All right, but I got here. Just lost and vanished again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, those are gigantic transitions. You need to just build your city in an entirely different way. Sometimes you just... You think you're safe in terms of food, but your population grows and what used to work just isn't enough anymore. It's, it's a game where you always need to be careful. About how fast you're growing. Any any key to be had here? King's Chest West Key? Oh shit. That is some good stuff right there. But I don't think I can stop this fire with a bit of ice. Now someone said something about me like stopping the fire with a smoke? Nah. It's still burning. Of course it is. Uh, how about... Three thousand damage. I only have a rain scroll, only one, Donna. There was no rain skill book anywhere in any vendor. I looked for it everywhere because I know it's important. It's nowhere. You know, my plan was to just get that and use her escape ability to quickly run away. Guess I wasn't quick enough for 3000 damage. Oh man. I'll have to use my rain scroll. Yeah, the enchanter had it for for you. It didn't have it for me unfortunately. Maybe I checked the Enchantress when I was already higher level. I checked the ship as well. No. Uh, maybe it was there when I was on low level, but I didn't buy it then. And when I did get around to wanting it, I was already too high level. And when I'm higher level, I think it shows me different skills. So the rain is just lost on me forever. 